My name is Gaia. I'm 26. I'm a street artist and a muralist. I graduated from sculpture at the Maryland Institute College of Art, and we are here at the Civil and Human Rights Center in front of a mural that I just finished after starting a week ago based on the hashtag, if they gun me down, which is followed by the statement, which photo would the media use? And this is a hashtag that was developed by a gentleman in Ferguson who was a lawyer um, who began this phenomenon on social media as a way to indict the media in terms of how people are simplified according to a national agenda on the national scale of conversation. The purpose and the intention of the hashtag, if they got me down, is to show that even though this is a dichotomous comparison between um, what would be considered a bad person and a good person, um, even though there's only a binary here, it is to display um, someone sort of taking control of their own visualization or their own representation um, through very much the opposite of top-down national media. You know, through a social media platform, people are disseminating their own images. And If They Got Me Down became one of the biggest trending hashtags on Twitter and Instagram throughout this year and has really became a galvanizing focal point for this um, rising and, and new and still um, growing and forming contemporary civil rights movement in response to brutality by um, authority. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to speak and be really very much a vessel and or a channel for this issue, having sought the permission of those who are really bringing their words to the fore um, through their self-posted and self-represented imagery and also through their language associated with every post. So being that channel and then being able to draw this connection to an ancient, albeit um, a controversial moment of the impetus of human rights with the cylinder to this very contemporary moment to then have that be accepted and or promulgated by an institution is really quite a blessing. And of course does provide a kind of importance and a kind of weight to this conversation that elevates it to the status of a true civil rights struggle. One that cannot be denied and one that will necessarily unfold and hopefully it will unfold in a manner where people do not feel endangered by communities of color asking for respect underneath the law that we all have to um, abide by. What I want people to get out of this work when they encounter it at the center is simply to understand the complexity and to be given the reminder of the complexity of humanity I want to convey that self-expression is not a crime and how you look does not render you a criminal. You are a criminal when you have committed a crime and yet simultaneously the capacity for forgiveness is the only way and the capacity for understanding and empathy is the only manner in which we will be able to avoid tremendous conflict in this country.